All right, Paul, just talk about, I mean, big win for you guys tonight. I mean, you, like you said, the, the late run there in the second half, and Raven was was great tonight. It really was. I, I, this, is a, this is a great win for us, and it, and it puts us back. We're kind of just kind of pecking away and trying to get back up toward the top of our division. And, and um, I've got to give a lot of credit to Ty's team. I thought they came out, they, they played super aggressive and, and really had us kind of flustered, especially in the first half offensively. Um, you know, I, I thought they did a great job. I thought we calmed down a little bit, and it was. It was that 15-0 run we went on, and then it was the under four-minute timeout, about at three minutes and 30 seconds or so. Then I said, okay, we got the spread. Now we need to finish off the game. And, and I thought we finished it off because we shot free throws so well. You know, this was one of our better free throw shooting nights, and you need that in close games. This, this final score doesn't indicate how close this game was. Right. And, and Raven especially, I mean, she was – had a knack of getting to the line, and I mean 14 to 17 from the line. I mean, they basically didn't have an answer for her inside. No, they didn't. And, and I'd give, you know, it, it is a tremendous honor. Raven's very humble, but it is a tremendous honor to be the all-time leading rebounder. And she will keep tacking those on and make that a very difficult record for anyone to break for years to come. So she's got a lot more work ahead of her with that. But um, what she really gave us tonight, not just the rebounding, but – you know, she got down on the post, and she got she was physical, and they really didn't have an answer, and we just started feeding her. And we started going to her, and if she didn't have the move, she found the open player, and I thought that was huge. There was a segment there that we just kept going to her. We stayed very steady with what we were doing, and I you got to give a lot of credit to her to step up and knock down shots, knock down free throws, and then find the open player. What did you maybe say to him in the, at halftime? Or, I mean, what was the difference between that first half and the second half? Because... First half or I wasn't real happy with our first half. Um, I, I didn't feel like we were playing with the intensity level that we needed to. And I, I told them I, I really felt like individually we were working very hard in the first half, but we didn't have that collective team effort. And the only way you get that is really locking it down defensively and an awful lot of communication on the defensive end. I thought we did a better job of that in the second half. And then on the offensive end, we just calmed down a little bit. We were – we were a little bit frantic. We were, and, and I, again, I gave a lot of credit to, to Ty's defense because they did a great job with us. But we finally calmed down a little bit, started making baskets, making a few stops, got the spread we needed. You mentioned Ty. I mean, it, on a personal level for you, I mean, how how cool is it to, to be able to coach against it's really, the guy? You know, Ty, Ty, is, Ty is a great guy. He's a good friend of mine. You know, know his wife and his kids, and I think he's doing, he's doing a tremendous job there. You know, I knew they were going to come out and play very aggressive. I knew they were going to, you know, go at you and keep, you know, keep, keep fighting until the buzzer went off, and, and I thought they did a great job. We just caught them on a little roll, and we got enough spread in the game to finish it off. But it, it's neat. I think that's, you know, I was telling someone before the game, I think one of the neat things in, in athletics is the relationships you build. Now, once the ball was tipped up, we each wanted to kick each other's tail. Don't get me wrong, they'll say the same thing. But when the game's over, before the game, it, it's really fun to kind of talk about how their families are doing, how people are doing, and it's, it's about those relationships that you build. Yeah, and talk about um, Ashley and, and Coco. I know Ashley went down 53 seconds into the game. Was, was it an ankle? Yeah, Ashley's was an ankle. It was an ankle. I, I don't know how bad it is. We're gonna. I'll go back upstairs and, and find out. I know they said she was done for tonight, and and um, Coco. I'm not exactly sure it was her knee, but I'm not sure where we are with that. So we'll we'll find that out after the game. Coach, are you guys taking a, a little bit of tired legs tonight? You know, such a quick turnaround. Um, you know, once you t you, you take Ashley out of this mix, and now you took out our, our four player that gives us. Just a awful lot of energy. Ash is the one that's diving all over for loose balls. She's grabbing rebounds. She's taking charges. And we kind of took that player out of the mix. I kind of mixed in, put Tierney in a little bit of a four. So, And I, and I stuck with a, a set there in the second half. And you, you're always a little bit more tired in the second night, but that's just that's the way the game goes. One more thing on Raven. Just kind of talk about coming in and, and – um what you've seen out of Raven. I mean, I know her, her leadership has been there since she was a freshman, but I mean, how impressed have you been with, with her as coming You know, I've been extremely impressed, and, and it's not just what you see on the basketball floor. It's not just because she's an all-time leading rebounder, and I don't mean to, you know, that that's not just it. It's how she leads a team, how she communicates, 
you know, we sat down and talked when she came in, and I said, the biggest thing is going to be buy-in. We're going to do some things differently. I'm asking, I'm going to ask you to do a few things differently, and you have to buy into it, and you have to make sure your teammates buy into it. And, and she's done a tremendous job at that. She's not only a great basketball player, she, she's, a, she's a great person with great character. I mean, people that know her, you know, she, she's around town all the time, and she's one of the friendliest people you'll meet on the streets. As humble as they can be, it's not about her. It's about everybody else, and, and she's just she's going to go down. This this record is is not just going to end tonight. She's going to keep adding and adding, and it's going to be awful hard for anyone to come in and break this. Okay. Thanks. Thanks.